Hello everyone, I'm Tom, the Sports Explorer, and I have a question for you. Did you know the United Arab Emirates has its very own Seven Summits adventure? You may not be challenged in the same way you would be hiking the seven summits of the world, including the likes of Everest and Kilimanjaro, but this little adventure in the Emirate of Fajera is still a great day out. The start of the UAE Seven Summits Trail is at the Flag Park, and you can't miss it because there is an enormous UAE flag at the start point. I'll put the directions to get here in the description below. It's within a 90 minute drive of Dubai. The adventure begins with a zigzag climb of around 70 meters, but it's pretty easy and it's the only real climb you'll do on this trail. So this walk consists of seven summits and they all have their own mini fort built by the Fajera Tourism Authority. And the seven forts represent the seven emirates of the United Arab Emirates. And as 2021 is the UAE's 50th year, what better way to celebrate the country? We've made it to the first of seven forts. Look at this. So I think what we'll do is I'll call each fort after one of the seven emirates and I'll give you a quick fact on that emirate as well. Let's call this first one Fajera as that's where we are. What's interesting about the emirate of Fajera is it's the only one of the seven emirates to have a coastline solely on the east coast, the Gulf of Oman. The paths here are well laid out and the full track is just under two kilometers long. Here we are climbing up to the second summit and the second fort. It's windy up here, but it's quite refreshing. There's a nice welcoming staircase into this second fort and you can go inside them as well. Look at this, spacious. It's bigger than my apartment in Dubai. <laughs> I think I'll call this second fort after Dubai because this is the tallest summit of the seven and Dubai is of course home to the world's tallest tower, the Burj Khalifa. It's really great what Fajera have done here. A lovely nod to each of the seven emirates that make up the UAE on this magnificent little trail. This is the third fort on the trail. I'll name this one after Abu Dhabi, the nation's capital of course, and by far the largest emirate in the UAE. Fort number four there behind me. I'll name that one after Um Al Quain, of course, an emirate where you can experience magnificent kayaking around the coastal mangroves. Look at how nice it is here with all of the forts lined up in a row. If you love your photography, you'll really have fun here. And if you love Instagram, you'll have a good time here as well. And don't forget, you can follow the Sports Explorer at the Sports Explorer. Our next fort, and I'm going to name this one after Ras Al Khaimah, which actually translates to mean top of the tent. And that is because it is the northernmost emirate in the UAE. It's also where you go to hike to the highest public point in the country at Jemal Jace. I'll put the link to that adventure in the description below. <laughs> I think I'll name this one Sharjah. The Emirate of Sharjah is where they found evidence of modern human beings first moving away from Africa over 130,000 years ago. You can find all the adventures to do in the Emirate and more in the description below. We've reached our final summit and fort. Let's 
name this one after Ashman, the smallest of the seven Emirates, but no less charming. This isn't really a hike, it's more of a walk, meaning it's a great day out for the whole family. We love the, the seven, seven summits, summits of the UAE. And if you love adventure running, this would be a great location to come to because essentially you can do laps around, which would be really cool. Sunset's a really nice time to visit here. You get some amazing views and colours in the sky as well. And once you've completed this walk, the great thing is, you can genuinely say you've climbed the seven summits. No further details needed if anyone's asking. Thanks for watching, it is always a pleasure to have you along to follow my journey as I explore our world through sport and adventure. Please do press the subscribe button and the like button as well and comment below with any thoughts that you have and let me know when you do this adventure as well. It's a bit blustery up here, I'll see you next week.